Hello, everybody. This is the reports interest group meeting. It's July 31st, 2024, and we have no agenda. <laughs> this is a free for all reports conversation. Um, so does anybody have anything that they want to start off with? I do. All right, go for it. Um, I was asked to create a report of current bills um, on TCNs. Um, and I thought everything was good, but yeah, as I'm spot checking, I'm seeing that um, it's including other bills on the account, but still labeling them as under that TCN. Um, and I can post, this is just like a small sample set. Um, and you can see my notes on the right, like so all of them are, are, they're showing all the correct ones, but then these additional ones that aren't, you know, they're showing like the wrong item barcode and the wrong TCN and title. Yeah. Um, Do you I don't... have, oh, sorry, oh, yeah. go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. You don't have like the debugging output for this, do you? Yes, I can. Oh, you do. That. Awesome. So I can say my message is too long. We have to do this in like three different sections. From blah blah. Yeah, I'm gonna be want to look at the joints when you get there. Yeah, and I did do. I was thinking it was notability. Um, I did do inner joins on everything. Mm. Ugh, sorry, it's telling me everything's too long for me to paste. Am I able to, oh, okay. I may put this in a text file and see if I can upload it to chat. Um, and yeah, I tried non-nullable or inner for everything. Um, yeah. Because that seems to work the best for bills or any sort of payment thing, but I don't know. There's, you know, they always um, send me in circles, any of the like payment or open bills. Bills <laughs> reports are rough. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> um, what source did you start out with? Um, I am, I started with um, billable transaction and sorry so, um yeah I'm finished yeah, doing billable. what you're doing for you uh, sure <laughs> it's um billable transaction summary with billing location <laughs> yeah i think that ends up being a view in the database, if I'm not mistaken. And I think I did also try, I know there's like an open billable transaction source, I believe, and um, something with that, it was just completely off. Um, but I don't remember at this point. Yeah, okay. Money billable transaction view. Do, 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 do. Asset copy, asset What's this ID in filter you got there? That is, what is that? Um, 
Oh, that is the um, billing location filter. Okay, got it. For the or unit filter. Okay. Yeah, I can't help but thinking it's somehow related to like how it's getting joined together, you know, for the item to the bill. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, I could, I can't remember at this point with the many versions, but I could, yeah, maybe do left joins on the, anything with the item related or with that. Um, I don't know I'm if I even started with that or not. I'm trying to think. Let me see what billable transaction summary actually looks like. Oh, maybe we'll, we'll just like try and build this template live on a test <laughs> server although i don't know uh if the like the concerto data will have enough in it to actually show anything right is the is the issue i guess we could like reverse engineer something i suppose I also want to look at the billing at that view and see like how that view is created. Let me drag some stuff into my other window here. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, now I'm going to try and share my screen. All right, cool. All right, so we're starting from open billable transactions. Billable transactions summary. There you go, this one, right? Yes. interesting how did you in that case how did you get to the item stuff yeah so this is what i was wondering if was the problem too so under yeah. bill user i did um it was kind oh, of mm -hmm. billable okay. transaction yeah circulation billing link. yeah yeah i think going that circuitous route might be part of your problem yeah. Because yeah, because you're starting out with the view, right? And then you're kind of like, actually, well, actually, I don't need anything that's in that view. I'm I'm going and building out from this report. So if you're using filters from here, it's not talking to stuff under it in that in that other source. So that's probably okay where we're where you're coming up with some issues. Um, 
let me see something here. So, so presumably this would be stuff that is not paid yet that they're interested in, or is it like any payments at all? Yeah, they any want... any bills rather. So, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, um, I was just trying to think. I think they did want any open, yeah, any open bills on it, but um. It, this was the question was specific to um, I think like hotspots so they were yeah. wanting to kind of like higher price items which I assume for those those aren't paid for in chunks I could be wrong um, but I feel like usually those are just like yeah full payments maybe um, so yeah I don't know I don't think it matters if there's payments that have been made um, okay no. so. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're going with balance owed anyway. So, okay. So we want to look at something. Uh, all right. And did you try any of these other sources that are at the top here? I feel like I tried open. Maybe I tried like a classic view and maybe that's why it didn't work. Huh. Oh, it's a classic open transaction summary. I think that is what I tried and that came up really odd. But yeah, actually, I don't even know if I got down to the open <laughs> so, There you go. Right. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, well, these are owning library. I'm trying to think if any of these would be relevant to what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Well, let me just look at balance. Interesting. Yeah, this seems to be just library mm -hmm. stuff. Um, something I do like, and I think this is where I usually end up when I start doing billing stuff, is skipping over everything and going to, where is, where are you? Is it open billable transaction summary or is it, I thought it was payment summary, but I might be misremembering oh yeah i think there is a payment summary or i know there's, there's that is that top? huh because i know there's the uh, table name payment summary mm -hmm. maybe it's not as yeah and it links from um, one of these other thingies. Um, maybe it's just billable transaction summary. No, let's build user. That's not right. I think this is probably what I do most often is go to billable transaction and then payment summary and okay. then start building it out from there. Uh, yeah, because you got your circulation link there. Yeah, that might work. I uh Yeah, that seems much more straightforward mm -hmm. than where I was going. Yeah, some like especially with this kind of stuff, the more deep into it you start going, the more issues you end up running into sure um i don't know do you want to try build try building it here or do we want to do we want to talk about something else <laughs> yeah people have other things that can always um start building in the background <laughs> on my end. so yeah other people feel free
I guess the only thing that I had was I was just curious if anybody had gotten a chance to poke at the Angular reports interface at all yet. Like the, you know, the full port. I have not seen the latest. So I think the last time I tested it was before there were a lot of updates. Okay. Yeah, we uh, we tested it with our data. Like I was the one that signed off on it because we were able to find some issues with uh, with our own data, uh, which was great. Um, so I'm very hopeful that when we do our uh, we we um, we don't have three thirteen installed on a server at this point. Uh, we did up until recently have still have the Angular reporter hanging out on one server, but we decided we needed to kind of move forward. <laughs> uh, so uh, we'll have 3.13. Um, yeah, we'll have 3.13 on, up on a server, and then we can really start putting it through its paces again, you know. What's everybody running now for your version of Evergreen? Just out of curiosity. Oh, I saw some chat messages coming through. 311, that's what we're running. 37, okay. 312. Yeah, we're on 311. I'm also curious to know if folks have been using the simple reporter at all. We didn't um, install it. Yeah, we haven't activated it either. We, we, we tested it out in the beginning and had some folks look at it, but um, we kind of decided it wasn't really uh we, we'd need to do some customization to make it really useful for us madison where um where are you from yeah i think we had the same issue spark okay mm -hmm. Interesting. So I guess um, another thing that I'd like to kind of get from the group today is if there's any like big reports related topics that you'd like to talk about in the over the next year or see us focus on. An issue with reports running slowly and a consistent backlog. Is that all reports or just sp specifically for simple reports? I think they kind of share the same resources, so it might be everything. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I guess going back to, to that question, it, are, if there are any sort of big reports related uh, topics you'd like to see covered 
over the next year in these meetings or if we want to just continue to meet and, and discuss things as they come up that's cool too or, or just run it as an open discussion where we you know pick each other's brains <laughs> that's also fine Beth, is that a cat? <laughs> I'm going to say hi to the cat. <laughs> well, since we're all here, um, Maybe I'll go back to trying to build out that report with you, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Getting the crumbs out has happens to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, I spilled coffee all over mine the other day. Oh My no. Yeah. <laughs> but it seems to be fun. All right, cool, cool. Okay. In that case, I'll try and see if I can replicate what uh, what Susan's doing with this source over here. All right, so we got billing location. Start over here. Payment summary. Yeah, this one won't have the full link to the billing location, but checkout and renewal library should get you the same thing. If it's circ stuff we're looking at. Looks like you did an or a uh, short name for that. TCN. So we're going for item. I think, yeah, it's under bib record or call number volume. Call number, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just got a little. Simple not source value. Title. Yeah, we're looking for barcode. Think. Here we go up here. Yeah, this is like very basic. Okay. So this is where I kind of switch over to payment summary, I think. Yeah. Start ID. And balance owed. And your filters were t you filtered on TCN, is that right? I did and um yeah, I did one in list and then one just equals, but I saw the same results. So either okay. one. I guess it. Um, yeah, we want to go back to simple.
Yeah, we'll just keep it that. And then it was you were you were billing location, was that right? Yes. Okay. So or yeah, check out. Either. Oops. Put that in there. And I haven't done any nullability yet. I don't know if I'll need to, but I'm just kind of starting with this as a baseline. <laughs> Change transform. Oops, that's not what I wanted. And change operator. Okie dokie. Um, and then what else was there? Okay, so you want to balance those not zero, more than zero. Transaction finish date as is null. I don't know if that's necessary. And then transaction finish. Is not null. Uh, I did is null. Oh, is null. Right, right, right. Uh, was there anything else? I did have um, uh, like voided equals false for billing line items, but I don't think that's necessary either. I'm not really sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's keep it like this and keep it a little bit yeah. more simple or try. <laughs> okay. So... Say uh, open transactions by TCN. Sure, let's try that. And I did find a, a TCN and it has a lot of bills on it. In Concerto? Uh, yes. Awesome. Oops. Here it is. Sixty-five. Okie dokie. Where did I put that? Is it in sample? Test. Tra uh, bills on sixty-five. <laughs> <laughs> and were they like all over the place, or were they at a specific location? The bills. Do you know? They were, this one, let's see. Um, this one was BR2, was the CERC library for this specific bill. Okay. I'll just put that in the name so that we know. Do some test. Firefox. Wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's because it's under pending still. Yeah, all of these are under pending, so it might not run. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, this is from 2020. Yeah. Actually, from May. Well, shucks, we might be uh, dead in the water for that one. Yeah, I think. if any of the demo servers are running angular reports at this point community servers it's really gonna work. this one's running 312 all right this one's running 313 but it's in check which may not help me. <laughs> I wonder if Mobius is, has has it. Oh, yeah, and they have the enhanced and, uh, data set on here, too. Oh, that's okay. Ooh, they do. Just for funsies and comparison's sake, try building the same report here. See how it goes. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> the other day I was building an RFS server, and so I just had to recreate everything anyway. So this is what I've been doing all week. <laughs> have to get used to this display. Oh, I'm curious, was the issue with the org units fixed for filters? I guess we um, can, I guess we'll look, take a look at that. that. <laughs> yeah, I was just curious. Um, that being um, something we were kind of worried about since you know. yeah mm -hmm. um well well we'll we'll see mm -hmm. what it does i don't want to rely on my memory because it, yeah <laughs> all right filling location Let's grab that Grab TCN. That's not what I thought. 
up here. Grab value and title. And barcode. Down to payment summary. ID. Start and balance. Kidok. That's kind of nice. It's a little better than the other one. Uh, let's see. I forgot the other thing that we wanted in the payment summary. Which was transaction finish time. And then we want to go back to item. Those were our four, right? Yes, I think so. Could you have taken the exact start date and ID from the billable transaction source? Yes, I think technically. However, we're also doing some filtering on the balance owed from the payment summary. And mm -hmm. for me personally, I I like to if I like to keep take all of my filters from like the same place. That way I know that they're all coming from the same table. In theory. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Less yeah. lines going out. Doki. We'll try that. See how that goes. Did any of these? It's like these got either cleared out. People are silly. New report. So I think this, so, so it was the issue that we wanted all of them to be collapsed unless you were logged into the workstation or did we want these things to be like your, your registered workstation to be the one that um, log, it logged into or it selected automatically? The last thing I remember was the collapsed or only yeah. or open to just your yeah so i think that 
did happen because I think we are, yeah, God, like Godric's Hollow. I think that's what we are right now. Awesome. So it's so it's there. It wasn't selected. I I selected it myself, but it was like these two branches were the only ones that were open. So that's yeah. helpful. Yeah, very much so. For us, this is going to be so long. I, I, mean, I imagine it is for you too. Um, yeah, I think we have like three hundred. Yeah, that's a lot. Only <laughs> more than yeah. us. Um, and I think I, I'm sure has so many. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, that that does definitely help. Yeah, I'm. I'm so I'm still concerned about this list being a little bit unmanageable, particularly for the libraries that are toward the end. Mm -hmm. But, you know. And yeah, my other concern was you can't select like multiple at a time. You have to, you know, individually select the checkbox. Oh yeah, good point. So that was another thing that I was like, I don't know, because we do, you know, if we're running reports for all of Pines, mm -hmm. I don't know how we're gonna, you know, we'll have to select all the branches, I'm not sure. Like, what if, yeah oh yeah Unless it doesn't it doesn't well. like it doesn't like go down and yeah select like all the children yeah that's kind of I mean I guess that's probably by design because you want to be able to run stuff for the parents only at in certain situations I guess mm -hmm. um yeah but you can't do because you can't select the parent though, right? Ours hasn't worked that way. Yeah. No, you can't you can't select the parent and then have all of the children under there. That right. yeah, it's only that. And you're only selecting that one thing. But that's I think good feedback. That's something that we could certainly file a, a bug about if it's not already there. Yeah, I can't remember. Um yeah, like you, it's like my memory is awful and I don't even know the last time or when that was when I last looked at it. It was probably right, not too long. right. It feels like well, forever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, May. May was like a decade okay. ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um. All right, I forgot to put the. I forgot to feed in the filter. Actually, did I forget to feed to feed in the filter value? Now I don't even know. Um, I'll have to te uh, test that check on that again but i'm going to go next right and then all right save and schedule let's see what happens yeah. oh did i even put in a tcn though i don't think i did it's oh yeah <laughs> that would help um and i made sure on this too there's a bill on 65 still oh thank you it shouldn't have let me run it if i didn't fill in that thing so that's another thing Oh, yeah. I'm going to see if I can do the edit thing. Oh, I put in zero for the TCN. That's what it was. <laughs> Silly me. But I don't see the balance owed filter here. So that's weird. Uh, I thought I saw it. I thought oh, I saw maybe it. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. I guess one topic maybe for later, but I'd be curious to know how people are training on this, their library staff. Because mm -hmm. um, that's something, yeah, we're going to go to 314 in February. So I'm really trying to get ahead of this training and I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. How to wrap your head around it. I'm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a thing. <laughs> yes, very much so. <laughs> oh, 
so that one, did that one run, or? This one says error running, doo -doo -doo. did I put it in roots? No. Oh, so it's still trying to run this one. But I changed it mid-run. I don't know if it'll pick up my changes or not. Now I'm trying to remember if it uh, gave me the option to save as new when I, when I went in to edit it. Oh, it's probably that I need to clone it instead of editing it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if. Okay, let's see what it does. <laughs> it's possible that the reporter isn't running on this test server anymore. But it's also only been a couple of minutes or a few minutes. So. A little concerning that the start time isn't populated, though. If the scheduled yeah, runtime is there. That's but, a good point. Yeah. Yeah, that, that kind of means that it might not be even looking for those. Yeah, because all of these, the start time matches. So, okay, it's probably not running. I do love the refresh button. That's my that's my favorite thing about the new reporter. <laughs> Yeah, so these probably aren't going to run at all. Um, well, it was a good chance to to poke at it anyway. Where uh, I can't believe we spent uh, we we almost spent an hour looking at this. Uh, did you get have any luck uh, building that template on your with your data, Susan? <laughs> and from what I've seen. It is working. Hooray! Yeah. We fixed yeah. a problem. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so yeah, because there are a couple, um, luckily, yeah, a couple of patrons that showed up that did have other bills on their account, and those aren't on the report that I just ran. So it's only for that TCN. So I think, yeah, awesome. I think after all, you did help me fix it. <laughs> Thank Yay. you. Yay! <laughs> all right, so that we can definitely do um, a a a session in the a meeting in the future on how to train or ideas about how to train people on the new reporter especially since we many of us have been operating with the old one for like a decade at this point <laughs> or more so yeah that'll be a that'll be a big change for everybody um does anybody know? It does it are it this? I I feel like I knew this at one point, but again, my memory is uh is failing me at the moment. Uh, I know that Jennifer Pringle was working on changing up the reports documentation and updating it to the Sitka version. Is that been? Is that already done? Yeah, that was done. Again whenever <laughs> earlier this year and then i do know yeah so that's in the current documentation awesome. and then i know that they have the thir 313 or the new angular documentation too oh. um i haven't looked at that yet but yeah the current evergreen does have that the results of that project from taking oh. the cities yeah that's that's excellent i'm i'm happy to get that i'm happy to see that that in there um does anybody, I think there's some crossover with DIG here. Are there any other like documentation based reporting needs out there or are we kind of covered in terms of documentation for reports? Yeah, I can't answer that right now, but after tomorrow I could pose the question to the group. All right, that would be helpful because uh, you know, there's all always, 
um, if we can't come up with, you know, if, if, we, if we're looking for topics, always like cross pollinating with other groups. Um, you know, we, we've talked to the cataloging group in the past. We've worked with, um, uh, eventually I think, uh, Tiffany is going to do some acquisitions reports, but I know she's been kind of, she's been, she's been busy. So, uh, we haven't worked that out quite yet. So we'll, yeah. If you think of a topic that you want to cover, or if there's any questions that you have in between the meetings, you know, obviously feel free to post on the reports listserv. Um, if you're not already on the reports listserv, probably everybody here is, but just in case, I will go ahead and post that uh, wiki. Is. So here's our. Oh, yeah, thank you, Susan. I'd say you never know. So it might as well go up on the wiki. <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure to put it on there once I clean it up. Awesome. Thank you. So, yeah, the, this is the reports wiki. Um, we try and we've been trying to get some sample reports and SQL queries in there that might be useful to other people. Uh, let's see. There's also the subscribe to list. So here's how to subscribe to the reports email list. Um, and that's really all I got for you today. you again <laughs> thank you all right have a good rest of your rest of your day everyone we'll talk next month